Spring sports are on the horizon, but winter continu sports continue through February with both bas basketball teams finishing their conference seasons. Joining us now to weigh in on the latest with the Phoenix is ENN Sports Director Jacob Kaismore. Jacob, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, for sure. So I've attended some of the basketball games. It's always a good time. So what can you tell us about what we've seen lately? Yeah, it was a busy week for Elon's men's basketball team with two home games in three days. Over 2,400 fans attended the men's basketball win over UNC Wilmington on Thursday, the largest home crowd to ever see an Elon win. Head coach Mike Schrocki discussed the impact of the fans after the game. But our students, if they can keep showing up like that, means the world to us. It makes a difference in the game. It gets our guys so excited. Our guys are so deserving and working hard to get that support. Um, it was awesome. Sophomore guard Darius Burford continued his strong play in the team's two games last week, scored a career-high 27 points in Thursday's win over UNCW and 14 in the team's loss to Charleston on Saturday. Burford is the team's leading scorer this season and said his versatility has led to his success. When I get in, I want to make sure I'm, I'm making an impact in any way possible, no matter if that's defense, no matter if that's getting rebounds, no matter if that's assisting, playmaking for my team, making shots easier, or scoring the ball for myself. I just want to make an impact on the game and help us win. Anything that makes us win, that's the type of player I am. The men's team currently has a 7-17 and record this season and is tied for 8th in the CAA standings. So I know just a little bit from going, I mean, that record isn't great. And it's, a, you know, what do you think about that? I know sometimes I notice maybe closing the game out they struggle with a little bit. Yeah, an interesting fact, too, with the men's basketball team this year, they've really not been too bad at home. They're 7-4, and four, but they're 0-13 in games away from Shar Center, which is a fascinating statistic, something to watch going forward as they close out the final month of their season. Of course, and I know we have lacrosse coming up this week, so what can you tell us about that? Absolutely. Well, this weekend, lacrosse gears up for their season opener against the University of Virginia. The team went 9-3 and three last year and will play 16 games this season. Head coach Josh Hexter says he's excited for the Phoenix to play this weekend. We don't necessarily concern ourselves with the name on the chest of who we're playing. Um, we concern ourselves with, with competing at the highest level possible that we can compete at. And that's why we, we do enjoy um, playing some of the top teams in the country because win or lose, it's going to raise your level um, one way or, or the other. And the, and the best athletes want to do that. Hexter says the goal this season is to win the national championship, something the team has never done before. Another goal is to win the CAA championship. Okay, and th those are the outcomes that we talk about, but, but really the goal every day is to embrace our competitive drive and try to get better every day. Try to be the best version of yourself every day and try to um, satisfy that curiosity that we have out in the field and to, and to really give, give each other our best um, every day. The Phoenix opened the season with five home games, three of which are against teams who were ranked in the top 25 last season. So Jacob, what do we have to look forward to for the rest of the week? Sure, not only are winter and spring sports preparing to be in full swing, junior men's basketball guard Hunter McIntosh is seven points away from breaking a thousand career points at Elon. He'll have his opportunity to do so at James Madison University this Thursday at 7 p.m. Women's lacrosse is set to take on the University of Virginia in its first game of the season at home Friday at 4 p.m. And women's basketball is set for a matchup against UNC Wilmington Friday at 7 p.m. Well, Jacob, thank you so much for joining us. Live coverage from those games and more can be found on our sports ENN Twitter on our website, elonnewsnetwork.com.